Hi students, in this video, we will talk about the different application of ethics in, in any discipline. Now, when we say applied ethics, this is a discipline in philosophy that attempts to apply ethical theory to real life situations. This is used in some of the aspects of determining public policy and as well as by individuals facing difficult decisions in their profession or their discipline. So the first application of, uh, of ethics is in the life sciences. No? We call this bioethics. Uh, bioethics is about uh, deciding whether uh, the, the rightness or wrongness of, of actions no? in the advances brought by biology and medicine. Now, bioethicists are mainly concerned with the ethical questions that arise in the relationship among life sciences, biotechnology, medicine, politics, law, and even philosophy. So it's in, it involves no, the study of the more commonplace questions of values or the ethics of the ordinary that arise in primary care and other branches of medicine. So even though bioethics is, uh, is addressing the biotechnological aspect no, of, uh, of, of uh, human sciences, it also involves the rightness or wrongness of the caring sciences, you know, like the nursing profession. So in bioethics, it's not just limited only on the technological aspect, you know, on development of uh, medicine, but also the implementation of nursing sciences. You know? Okay, so bioethics is actually more about the life sciences and the caring sciences. Another form of uh, applied ethics is what you call your business ethics no? or applied. Uh, this is a form of applied or professional ethics that examines the principles and morals of or, or ethical problems that arise in business environment, no? including the fields like medical ethics. So this one is more on the conduct of the business, the conduct of the profession. No? Primarily, tinitignan dito, Yung, uh, yung truthfulness of all transactions no? and the uh, harmonious relationships of the people doing the business. No? When we say business, it's not just only the business aspect, the advertising, the marketing, etc. No. When we say business ethics, this is the professional ethics of any, no? of, any health, uh, of any profession no? in our society. Okay? Now, another form of uh, ethics is yung tinatawag na military ethics, which is concerned with uh, questions regarding the application of force and the ethos of the soldiers and are often understood as applied professional ethics as well. No? Another set of ethics is yung tinatawag na public sector ethics, no? wherein the, they discuss a set of principles that guide public officials and their service to their constituents, including their decision-making on behalf of their country constituents. This is more aptly applicable or applicable to people who are at the public service sector. No? So, pinag-uusapan dito sa public se sector ethics, yung fundamental concept of public sector ethics, no? which, is, which should be the notions that drive their decisions and actions okay? to serve the public interest. Okay? Sometimes it's also involved uh, including, the, including the financial interests of the people or even their selves, uh, to examine their self-serving political interests. Another set of uh, ethics is yung tinatawag na publication ethics no? or the set of principles that guide you in writing and publishing process for all professional publications. Now, to follow these principles, the authors must verify that the publication does not contain plagiarism or publication bias. When we say plagiarism, this is uh, the act of uh, presenting ideas of other people as if it's your own. While publication bias is the bias that you have no, or preference that you have for the results. No? For the results. So if the results are favorable, you want to publish it. But if it's not, you don't want to publish it. That's one form of publication bias, okay? Or sometimes you are prejudiced to the results. That's another pro publication bias, okay? 
And also, it involves misconduct in publication or in research, which can occur when an experimenter falsifies no, result, like in the in the falsification of results. Relational ethics is used in qualitative research, especially in, in, in ethnography and autoethnography. When you say ethnography, this is a study of one's culture, okay? So researchers who employ relational ethics value and, and respect the connection uh, between themselves and the people they study, they observe correct relational ethics, okay? So it's the establishment of good working relationship and good communal relationship with the people that you are uh, studying no? or you are observing, no? most especially in ethnography okay, and et auto-ethnography. While animal ethics is a term used in, in the academe to describe human-animal relationships and how animals ought to be treated in an experiment. No? The subject matter includes animal rights, animal welfare, animal law, speciesism, animal cognition, wildlife conservation, and the moral status of non-human animals, no? and the way they are treated no? in the experimentation. As we all know, uh, there are some experiments, no? most especially in drugs, no? in, devel in the development of drugs for human use. We use animals no? in, uh, in experimenting. So to properly handle this, animals after experimentation, we employ the concepts of animal ethics, okay? That ends our lecture for this week. If you have any more questions, you can send me a direct message through my Facebook Messenger. If you, have, uh, a, if you want to discuss something to our uh, Facebook group, you may do so, okay? With that, I, we end this lecture and have a nice week.